Hey guys, let's do a pizza test with the new air fryer. Oh, it doesn't fit. I'm trying to figure that one. Anyways, hey guys, so I got myself a new digital air fryer from Gourmia from Costco. This is the 2020 edition, I guess. So 49 bucks at Costco, just picked it up. And I'm gonna do a quick unboxing comparison compared to the Gourmia we got, air fryer we got like about two years ago. And of course we'll do some wash it up and make some cooking. Of course, if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell button for the Stone W channel, whether it's Costco finds, unboxings, or DIYs. And let's go ahead and open this guy up. So, pretty neat packaging again. Uh, very simple packaging, just like the first Gourmia. It looks like there's basically um, some insulation on the top and bottom. The cord is on the side. We'll just go ahead and pull this thing out. It has instructions as well as a recipe book. And let's go ahead and get this guy out of the box. A lot more plastic in it, but very light. It's much lighter than that of the old Gourmia that we had, which was had a lot of metal and other stuff like that. Looks like all it comes with is the crisper tray as well as a accessory rack, which is pretty cool. This works fine. I mean, we haven't really did anything else with our um, Gourmia air fryer. It's non-stick everywhere, and there's no more little chrome thing. And there's these silicone um, little feet. There's four of them that go around the tray. So. Very straightforward. I mean, it's pretty straightforward to see anything in there. So looking inside, it's all plastic. There's no longer a metal um, housing on the inside. Back vent is still there. And, you know, you're supposed to keep this on the counter and not putting it anywhere else. So looking at the bucket-wise, it's a little taller. Recipe book. Do not put it on a oven, of course, or on top of a stove. And, of course, it might smell like plastic probably for the first few times. Yeah. That's that's the same thing. I mean, for our first Gomia or air fryer, it lasted about what a week before the the plastic snow went away. Anyways, that's really about it in terms of the, what it comes with. That crisper rack actually goes either way, so there's little arrows in the pointing it, and there's a easy. Oh wait, doesn't seem to fit very well. So, anyways, it fit before before I unpack this thing, so it might be something else. So, um, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and see what else I could do with this thing. So what I did was I actually bent the feet a little in. So now it fits perfectly and it slides in without hitting the, the edges. So that's kind of weird. So I, what I did was that I took each of those plastic feet and I bent it just a little by hair just so that it wasn't um, hitting the sides so much or basically the silicone touching the sides making it hard to push in. So I w went ahead and just bent all four of them in just a tad. As you can see, these feet are different than the old one. The old ones, you got to take them off and clean them. This one looks like it's a plug that just goes one way and looks pretty permanent. So I guess we'll have to use a brush to clean it later. But anyways, um, the clearance is better if you move those little feet in. Just with your hand, just don't do it too much. Uh, and uh, the multi-tray fits just right on there, which is fine. And slide that guy in. And let's go ahead and start doing a comparison between the old one, which is two years ago, which looks really, really cool while it's stainless steel, and the new one. So right off the bat, it's a little taller, by about, about an inch. The lights and buttons are much brighter, as well as the insides. You can see there's a lot more metal in the old one. The new one, it's all plastic. And if you look at the trays, the tray itself, it's wider on the old one with the accessory rack as well. The accessory rack has a lot more weird stuff on it. So the new one is just a round rack that elevates your stuff. This one we use to toast toast and other fun stuff and cook pizzas on it. Uh, and it fits a whole pizza usually, or the personal ones at least, that you buy frozen. As you can see, the pan is actually about an inch shorter. I mean, I'm sorry, an inch taller for the new one. And the base is kind of bigger for the old one than the new one as well. So well, we will test this out. If I put my hand over this thing, as you can see, it's a round bucket versus a square bucket, as well as looking at picking up the trays, it is pretty interesting in terms of that. The trays look a little different because the accessories are different. As you can see, there's no um, more copper little hook, thank God, because that was such a pain to clean. Now much it was so hot, you can't really use it anyways. So as you can see, the silicone stuff on there is actually a little different as well. And let's go ahead and pull this tray up. This non-stick coating is it feels much thinner than the other one. The feet are still silicone. Again, I'm not sure how you get to clean that other than using a brush um, or soaking it. But let's put this guy back down there. The crisper tray overall 
seems to be a little bit more easier to use. Just be careful putting it down because it could actually scratch the sides of it because it's circular. And for this one, I, as you can see, some of the nonstick is starting to rub off again. So it happens to most most of these things because it is you know you know grinding against like the it's basically using it as a track. I did another video before. Let's take a look at what we could put in this thing then. So 90% of the time, I'm going to be putting tater tots and frozen burritos as well as pizza. So I'm going to go ahead and get a frozen pizza out as well just to test this thing out. So I got my frozen pizza. This is the typical size I use. It fits perfectly, well, just about in the old Gourmia uh, six quart. And on the new one, it doesn't fit. It's a little too big. I might have to either cut it up or something, or maybe cut it in half, but even cutting it in half might not fit completely. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I'll probably just cut it in half and try to fit it a little later. But if you put it in the old one, eventually it kind of sits and melts a little, or you put it on a tray and it'll completely fit. Uh, but overall, you put tater tots in here, of course, don't put it in the bag. Um, usually I put about half a bag of tater tots and cook the stuff, or uh, even a frozen burritos. So that's, or if you want to get really fancy, put some sea, sea um, scallops in there. And of course, as you can see, the tray is much um, more taller and narrower versus the new old one, which was very wide and roughly around four inches. So I guess you could do more baking in the new one and smaller, narrower stuff in the new one as well. So as you can see, not, not much, the, the height is the main thing and also the footage is the same thing. And same thing with the racks as well. Um, on the plant size, the overall size is roughly about the same. Let's go ahead and wash this thing real fast. I'm just gonna use some dish soap and wash it. Just to make sure you know that manufacturing stuff is there. Let's cook some extra crispy tater tots. Let's throw some in there. I turn on the preheat. As you can see, these buns are really, really bright compared to the old one. And I'm just hitting the fry button to go preheat at 400 degrees. And I think it's gonna do it at about, I think 15 minutes as a setting. As you can see there's a lot more buttons on this thing than it was in the last one. Um, frozen, I just dumped a, like, I just fill the whole, you know, I basically fill the whole bottom part of it. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit start. It does a preheat and then it says add food and it also has a turn uh, alarm too. So at about what, seven minutes or so, it actually has a beep so you could make sure you turn it or shake the food or whatever. So it's pretty convenient. They, they really changed the design. And by the way, this thing is really, really silent compared to the old one. The old one, we're toasting toast right now. It's a bread for three minutes and it is loud. And as you can hear from the audio, it is much louder. In fact, it's probably two, three, four times louder than that of the new system or the new air fryer. So that's a huge improvement. In fact, you know, we'll cook some more stuff there. But as you hear, it's not very loud at all. Let's go ahead and put it close to the side. So a huge improvement That's in terms funny. of sound and in terms of um, overall, it looks uh, it looks cool still. I'm gonna be honest, it looks okay. Uh, I don't like that I can't put a full pizza in there, but you know, you'll be cooking other stuff with this anyways. So like, let's cook, if we fried some eggs real fast. Yeah, so we're gonna make this into a full breakfast. So let's put some fancy tomato ketchup on there. And we're gonna go ahead and voila, there you go. Avocado toast, some eggs, as well as a lot of tater tots. Or hash browns if you want, whatever. Anyways, big thank you to all 11,000 subscribers. You know, like, subscribe, hit the bell button for more Costco finds, DIYs, as well as other fun stuff. You know, definitely Costco finds are one of the main things I do because, you know, I go to Costco almost every other day to at least once a week. Um, other unboxings, including this new uh, mic adapter and other fun technologies, as well as DIYs and how to clean normal stuff and also do things around the house. Okay.